Well, my friends, isn't science just wonderful? It's amazing what you might find out there, including something like an alien horse, of course. Oh, yes, this, this is everything I could have ever hoped and dreamed that our Sims 4 La Parkatory Challenge, where we go ahead and we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we could create, uh, could possibly, like, eventually end up evolving into. We have had so much more than I have ever dreamed possible since Horse Ranch has arrived, especially because of, once again, the amazing Kalino and her fan fantastic mods such as the Okapi ears. So if you guys are wondering how we got this very beautiful specimen of alien equineness, uh the answer is it is actually one of your guys horses. This is Mint to green, a uh, barb apparently, <laughs> who actually was created by Wolfsong98 for the hashtag Siri Horse little uh, hashtag on the Sims 4 gallery. I very much fell in love with mint because I love green things and I was on the prowl for space horses because that has been a common request from many of you. So common a request that it seems that the energy of space just gathered around ourselves and ended up abducting my Sims. Rocky. He has been abducted from our Sims 4 Ranch to Riches challenge and it is only the second time I have ever had a Sim abducted in The Sims 4 and the first time, the very first time that it's been a male Sim. So Rocky might come back pregnant. I'm very excited about that. And you know, considering the fact that Rocky himself is running a horse ranch with a 101 foals challenge, it seems appropriate to see if we might be able to help him out by getting a few uh, extraterrestrial equines running around in those lovely Chestnut Ridge Hills. So with that said, I took Minto Green, who was not made as an alien horse, and uh, just <clears throat> maybe spliced in some of the amazing Okapi genetics that we can welcome in thanks to the fantastic mods from Kalino. And I am very excited to see what kind of wonderful little extraterrestrial equines we can make with a hurricane, who is a gorgeous mix also off of the gallery of one of the fantastic specimens that you guys brought in using the Siri horse hashtag. This time, this one, let's see, was that Sugarfoot? Let's see, yes. Okay, so this one was from Nova Chartphobia, who ended up making so many beautiful horses for us to go ahead and try using, and the random generator chose your horse as well to go ahead and jump in for the experiments today. I do hope that everyone will be able to keep Hurricane somewhat calm. He does seem pretty chill though, a little needy, very friendly, very brave, so I think that, I think that er, Hurricane, or er, she, she is very brave, so I think that she's going to handle this uh, rather out-of-this-world situation with grace. Uh, but seriously, you guys, like, for some reason, almost half of the requests we've had lately obviously are either zebras and giraffes, which are just amazingly cool, or it's for space horses. And I have been sitting here staring into empty space, wondering, with all I have to wonder, what is a space horse? Why are they so popular? Why are there so many requests for space horse genes? How do I make a space horse genetics challenge if I don't know what a space horse is? So, um, I could really use a little bit of space where you guys could continue to create some awesome space horses. I've already been collecting a few of them, let's just say. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, whew, okay. I've already been collecting a few space horses, so there should be quite a few more in the future because it seems that we've been abducted by aliens and I've just got to roll with that for a while. All of that said though, Let's go ahead and begin with seeing what kind of amazing foals we will be able to create today with these crossbreeds. And today, when our foals grow up, we are actually going to see if the Dice of Destiny decides if they are going to have the Okapi ears and if they are going to have feathering, because I like the idea that the feathering down at the feet, uh, or the hooves, I suppose I should say, um, actually is related to the alien genes because for some reason the feathering doesn't seem to show up very often in the offspring. So when we do have horses that have a lot of feathering around the hooves, then we'll go ahead and we might start rolling for that because it doesn't seem to pop up when you do it like so. <laughs> All right, well, all of that said, we're gonna go ahead and have a little filly this time. And we are going to roll the dice twice more after this. One and two. Oh, and we got 
that little green one. Ooh, with two colored eyes. Okay, that is so cool. And I would like to welcome our very first extraterrestrial equine mix, Mistfall. Mistfall, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a energetic, friendly, and brave little foal uh, who actually, I just noticed, has two colors. White on the forelock, mint green on the mane. That is what I was really hoping for when I saw that Hurricane got picked for the jeans. I am I am glowing with excitement right now. And let's go ahead and read what your genome has to say. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So the you guys already know the way that I am handling this. So if you're curious about how we are deciding what colors to use, then check out some of our previous videos because I went into detail explaining how I am going down and picking our patterning. And this time around, we went with mostly white with like the faintest, faintest blue. <gasps> I can't believe you rolled that many. Mistfall. Okay, that's going to be really fun because I doubt we're going to have that many of the same gene repeated again. And now we need to wait and see if you're going to grow up and if you're going to have those beautiful copiers. By the way, Mistfall, you suggest doing a peacock appaloosa and a alicorn uh, like mix. I very much love peacock appaloosas. You guys know that um, <clears throat> I've got a weakness for those spots and that's like that's like double spots in my book uh and then let's see alicorn and i don't think we can do alicorns yet just unicorns because there aren't wings uh for the large horses yet but i'm sure that the custom content is going to fill that gap pretty soon now let's go ahead and carry on with the next little one pulling up some of your guys names from the random comment generator using comments from our previous videos and this time around we're gonna have another filly we're gonna roll one Two. Oh my gosh, look at the two colors of the mane again! <laughs> I love this so much. This is going to be Mystical Whims. Mystical Whims, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a mellow yet aggressive free spirit. Once again, staring into the distance, wondering how we mix together a mellow and aggressive free spirit. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and read your genome code just to make sure we get this right. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so you have light blue on the next one too. And then you've actually got white here. Oh my gosh, these mixes are turning out so cool. You actually, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, these mixes, yeah. I wish you guys could see how my eyes are legitimately sparkling at this moment because I am very much in love right now. Mystical Whims, wow. And you request a giraffe and a copy or zebra with a rhino or moose. Now, I can do the giraffe and the moose, uh, which also has been requested. And an okapi or a z and a zebra would be really fun to see. Uh, so I can mix and match a few of those. And I wish I could do a rhino. They're actually, unfortunately, I don't have any rhinos on hand. But now that I think about it, I'm not going to be surprised if somebody goes ahead and makes like maybe a little rhino horn. So if you guys see any rhino horn jeans floating out there in the custom content world, let me know because I will absolutely happily add them into our laboratory uh, lineup. All right, that's a beautiful full. Holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh, they're all so pretty. So this time we're going to have a little filly and we're going to randomize one and two and three. Okay, very cute. We're really noticing that the alien gene is actually very strong. Uh, let's see what the coloration is going to be now on Antius, Antius Sterling. You know what? Because horses often have like two names, I'm gonna start trying to use more of your guys' names, usernames if I can. And Antius, you are going to be an energetic, needy, fearful little horse. So I imagine you're startled by quite a few things. Maybe you'll inherit those Okapi ears and that's why. So you just like hear everything and you desperately need some protection. All right, so then you have got this type of genome for your colorations. Let me go down the whole list. Uh, let's see. And then, sorry, I lost the, the, the genome for just a second there. All right, and then you're going to, oh my gosh. Okay, I thought that the white gene was going to be, ooh, and then the, this one's going to be black. 
Oh my gosh, that's really cute. <gasps> this is so cute. I love these mixes so much. I knew trusting you guys with creating your own horses would be just perfect. <laughs> And you suggest mixing a Percherion Antius, so I will definitely keep my eyes out for those horse like types as well. Oh my goodness, that's a really common like request. I would love to know where have you guys heard about that? Because I I recognize the name, but I haven't really heard about Percherions until and I'm totally mispronouncing that, I bet. Until this, basically. Also, let's go ahead and we're going to randomize one. And three, four, five. Oh my gosh, for this color again. <laughs> for another little filly. And this is actually going to be Stella. Stella, welcome, welcome. You are going to be an energetic, independent, and a fearful little foal. Once again, like, so you don't want, you're not needy like your sibling. You don't want snuggles when you're scared. But once again, we have some very terrified little foals. Also, Stella, we, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and I don't think moose have long tails because deer don't have long tails. I don't know why deer don't have long tails though, LOL. Thank you guys so much for investigating that science. We saw some really cool answers um, from many of you about why moose don't have tails. And one of the answers, and forgive me, I, I don't, didn't write your username down, even though I screenshotted it for my joy journal. Um, but one of the answers was many animals who are adapted for cold environments actually have shorter tails and shorter ears. It allows them to go ahead and maintain their heat better. And that makes a lot of sense if I think through the horse is said to have a long tail in part like zebra and uh, other cattle animals who happen to have long tails to swat away flies. And the flies and insects often show up, particularly the biting insects that can lay their very unpleasant maggots in them if they don't chase the flies away in hot environments but insects often die off in colder environments so it would be better for you to make sure you don't have an extremity like a long tail that could freeze and cause you a lot of damage in very cold environments so you'd want a shorter and shorter tail like lynx and moose uh, I don't know why deer deer are pretty adapted for the cold though but I loved that because that was actual pixel biology at work and it made me so thrilled to see all right, so now we're going to go ahead, Stella, and we're going to see what colors you're going to become. So let's see, you're actually light green for the first color, which is kind of fun. And then you're blue for the next. Oh my gosh, are you just going to like copy? Um, nope, you're going to be blue right here. And then you're going to be white for the, the white gene on Hurricane. Actually a lot stronger than I was expecting. And then blue on the feetsies. Oh, Stella. You do look like an interstellar dream full come true. Okay, I wasn't sure about like working with like, you know, the green coloration. Totally worth it. Totally, utterly worth it. I love these foals so much. All right, and now, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> and now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to have a little colt. And we're going to be randomizing this little guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once again, we missed the spots. <laughs> I was really holding out hope that we were going to have Hurricane's pattern, but it looks like alien genetics are just taking center stage. So this is going to be a little cult named Midnight Daisy after Midnight Daisy 19. I like that, Midnight Daisy. You are going to be an energetic, aggressive, free spirit, ready to roam the wilds of whatever alien planet you might be frolicking across. And uh, you actually suggest doing crossbreeds of the crossbreeds, which could be fun. We could have a championship showdown again. We did that in the past. And I think that now that we have this new way of doing the colors on different coats, that could turn out really interesting. So we might do some championship showdowns of like crossbreed versus crossbreed for both the horses and our smaller animals because we could end up, I'm writing this down, that's why it's taking a second, because I think that could be quite interesting. And then you also suggest a Clyde's Dell mixed with a zebra, which I think would be really fun and a moose and a unicorn, which I think would be really delightful. <laughs> I actually do love the idea of a moose and a unicorn because that might look like alien jeans as well. Speaking of different jeans though, let me go ahead and see what colors you're going to have, my friend. Uh, dun, dun, dun. 
Oh, finally. Jeez, I was wondering when we would finally end up... Oh, that's so cool. We finally ended up with the gray color. Like, that legitimately has not showed up anywhere else on any of our other horses. And I've been really confused about why. This is actually going to be that blue. Whoops. And then this is actually going to... And the white gene is so strong. Oh, Midnight Daisy, look at you. Oh, these are such beautiful, beautiful foals. Ah, Minto Green, I might need you to go ahead and give me more alien children because this is way too fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and now we're going to have a little cult for our very last crossbreed with this mix at least. And we're going to randomize them. One, two, closing my eyes, three. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. <laughs> I really thought we were not going to end up with that spotty pattern. I was quite worried about that. But finally, we have Paige Miller. So we're going to name this little one Miller. And Miller is a independent, friendly free spirit. I like seeing those free spirits. That's absolutely adorable. And Paige, you suggest in honor of Shark Week, what about a tiger shark mercat? Okay, that's amazing. I didn't think about that. And I would love to have more mercats, especially because Coral um, Coral Island is actually going to have a big update this month. So I plan on restarting my Coral Island Let's Play as well, if I can. And then a whale shark cat. <gasps> okay, that might be kind of hard for me to design, but I totally want to try because that would be so much fun. And then a moose and a black roan or peacock Appaloosa Clyde still to make folk. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Ooh, and a Tasmanian tiger with a moose. I could do that for small things. Tasmanian tiger and moose. Oh my gosh. I wonder if you could actually like get custom content that could make something look somewhat like a Tasmanian tiger though. My eyes are like huh all right maybe science could go too far but i have to say that's an interesting idea if you ask me but all right Paige, you're the last one up so let's go ahead and see you're actually oh my gosh i'm really excited about this mix okay so you're gonna be let's see light blue and then you're actually gonna be light blue again um and then you are going to be let's see light blue again okay no my spots <laughs> But then you're going to be gray. So you're going to be this color gray over right on the little forehead. And then your little sockies are actually going to be light blue as well. <laughs> Miller, you, or Paige Miller, you just really wanted to be blue. Like, look at that. That's so cute. But all right, time to go ahead and grow these little ones up. Oh my gosh, did we ever end up with quite the uh, selection of foals? And we're going to see if they inherit the Akapi ears and if they inherit the, uh, the feathering around the feetsies. Friends, welcome to Mistfall. Mistfall, welcome, my dear. I have no idea why you have that kind of tail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to randomize the tail again. You get an extra long tail. And Mistfall did actually inherit the ears. Okay, I love that. I have to work with some of these things because it's like, no, stop putting, don't put roses on my horses. And we did grow up with some of the color gradient, uh, the color gradient hooves, which I'm totally cool with. And then somehow, like, some of these manes just have become really dominant. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that. But Mistfall, look at you. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. Mystical whims. Mystical whims. You are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's not me almost teary-eyed with how exciting this is. That's not me almost teary-eyed with excitement because we did get the ears. Not the, the feathering, but we did end up with the ears and I am so in love with this. Mystical Whims, you're awesome. Okay, more alien horses needed. Noted. And then we have little Antinius and Antius. Oh, look at you. Very beautiful, very beautiful coloring. I really like how you turned out to be a, just a little bit shy. I wish those those roses would just calm down. And again, I'm a little curious. I feel like that mane is becoming, whoops, oh no, oh no. I didn't mean to actually change your mane style or I just, or your mane color. Oh dear, all right, here you go. <laughs> there, phew. <laughs> but Antinius, you are beautiful as well. I really, really love that gradient down to the black on the bottom. That is so fun, and I love how you're a little shy with big long forelock. And then over here we have Stella. Stella, you! Oh my goodness, look at your feet. Oh my gosh. Stella, you did end up inheriting the ears! You did! 
Yep, look at you. And you did not end up inheriting the tail, but I'm really loving the alien vibes that we have got going on so many of these little ones. And then Midnight Daisy. Let's go ahead and see. So, or excuse me, not the tail. I, I was looking for feathering. Midnight Daisy, you did end up going ahead and inheriting the ears as well. So let me snag those for you. I have no idea why so many of my horses keep coming in. Oh my gosh, I'm going to leave that short tail too. <laughs> keep coming in with those roses on their rumps but that's okay midnight daisy yes 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 alien horses guys alien horses and finally little miller and miller you actually didn't inherit like none of them inherited the feathering which i think is quite interesting and miller you did not inherit the ears but you did inherit a beautiful personality i am sure Oh, look at you. Oh my goodness. So many of the mains are just like defaulting to that braid, which I think is interesting. So I'm just going to casually do that for just a second. There you go, friends. I loved that. I loved that so much more than I realized I would. Midnight Daisy, I think you are definitely the uh, extraterrestrial equine of my dreams. And we're going to need to have these crossbred, cross, crossbreeds just keep coming. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you could, do keep those suggestions coming in the comment section down below. And you too might just become a extraterrestrial equine of my dreams. I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye.